Shemot, Exodus 34. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Hew you two sapphire stones like unto the first, and I will write at upon these sapphires the words that were in the first sapphires which you broke. And be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai, and present yourself there to meet in the top of the mount. And no man shall come up with you, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount. Neither let the flocks nor the herds feed before that mount. And he hewed two sapphire stones like unto the first, and Moshe rose up early in the morning and went up unto Mount Sinai, as Yahuwah had commanded him, and took in his hand the two sapphire stones, and Yahuwah descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah passed by before him and proclaimed, Yahuwah, Yahuwah El, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. And Moshe made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worshipped. And he said, If now I have found grace in your sight, O Adonai, let my Adonai, I pray you, go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for your inheritance. And he said, Behold, I cut a covenant. Before all your people I will do wonders, such as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation. And all the people among which you are shall see at the work of Yahuwah, for it is a terrible thing that I will do with you. Guard at that which I command you this day. Behold, I drive out before you at the Emori and the Kenaani and the Chiti and the Perizzi and the Chivi and the Yevisi. Take heed to yourself, lest you cut a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither you go lest it be for a snare in the midst of you. But ye shall destroy at their altars, break at their images, and cut down at their Asherah poles. For ye shall worship no other El. For Yahuwah, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous El. Lest you cut a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a-whoring after their Elohim, and do sacrifice unto their Elohim, and once call you, and you eat of his sacrifice. And take of their daughters unto your sons, and their daughters go a-whoring after their Elohim, and make your sons go a-whoring at after their Elohim. You shall make no molten Elohim. The et feats Feast of matzah shall you guard. Seven days you shall eat matzah, as I commanded you, in the time of the month of Aviv. For in the month of Aviv you came out from Mitzrayim. All that opens the womb is mine, and every firstling among your cattle, whether ox or sheep, that is male. But the firstling of an ass you shall redeem with a lamb. And if you redeem him not, then shall you break his neck. All the firstborn of your sons you shall redeem, and none shall appear before me empty. Six days you shall work, but on the seventh day you shall rest. 
in earing time and in harvest, you shall rest. And you shall observe the feast of Shavuot, of the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the feast of Kukoth at the year's end. Thrice in the year shall all your men children appear at before Adonai Yahuwah, the yellow high of Yasharael. For I will cast out the nations before you and enlarge at your borders. Neither shall any man desire at your land when you shall go up to appear at before Yahuwah Eloheka thrice in the year. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leaven, neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of the Pikach be left unto the morning. The first of the first fruits of your land you shall bring unto the house of Yahuwah Eloheka. You shall not see the kid in his mother's milk. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Write at these words, for after the tenor of these words, I have cut a covenant with you and at with Yashara'el. And he was there with Yahuwah forty days and forty nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the sapphires at the words of the covenant, the ten Devarim. And it came to pass when Moshe came down from Mount Sinai with the two sapphires of testimony in Moshe's hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moshe knew not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with them. And when Aharon and all the children of Yashara'el saw at Moshe, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moshe called unto them, and Aharon and all the rulers of the assembly returned unto him, and Moshe talked with them. And afterward all the children of Yashara'el came nigh, and he gave them in commandment, at all that Yahuwah had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. And till Moshe had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moshe went in before Yahuwah to speak with him, he took at the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spoke unto the children of Yashara'el, at which he was commanded. And the children of Yashara'el saw at the face of Moshe that the skin of Moshe's face shone, and Moshe put at the veil upon his face again until he went in to speak with him.